Hanukkah is a Danish word used to acknowledge a special feeling or moment. It can be alone or with friends, at home or out, ordinary or extraordinary, but it is always cozy, charming, or special. On The Clueless Homemaker today, we're going to talk about Huga. Like most women, I love to feel cozy. Putting on my favorite pair of PJs, slipping under a blanket, watching an old movie, drinking hot cocoa, all of these things give me the feeling. Whatever the feeling is, the cozy feeling. And for so long, I thought that it was something that I had to strive for, something that I could attain after my chores were done, after I had checked everything off my to-do list, then I could reward myself with feeling cozy. And then I learned about huga. Huga is a Danish word that basically means that coziness is always attainable. And whatever you're doing, you can make it cozy. So in 2019, I strive to figure out how to live a life of huga. In this video, I'm going to share just a few tips of how I did that. Making my favorite breakfast in the morning of an English muffin with honey and raisins and using my favorite coffee creamer is a perfect way to start my day the hoogly way, as the Danish say. I also found that having my favorite scents in everything I do helps me feel hoogly. Dish soap, hand soap, my favorite fall scented candle, all of these things help me to feel cozy and for that coziness to be a part of everything I do, no matter how mundane the task may seem. One nice big sniff of a candle, or sniff of that hand soap, and man, I'm floating on cloud nine. One of my favorite ways to bring huga to my chores is to use my favorite scents in sprays. I love this pine scent. It's Christmas all year round. I'll wipe that table a million times to smell Christmas trees in my kitchen. Another huga trick is to bring nature indoors. If you can't stick a bird on your shoulder like me, an easy way is to buy flowers. They sell them for pretty cheap at the local grocery store, and you can just put a few buds in a couple different mason jars and put them in each room in your house. In addition to the ideas that I'm giving you in this video, there are lots of other ways to bring huga into your everyday life. In addition to the things I've already said, like candles and good smells that you like, you can also have lots of blankets. Uh, throw pillows everywhere, little teacups and saucers to have your drinks and snacks from. Vintage is even better. Go to Goodwill and spend a couple bucks on some really great vintage teacups and saucers to eat and drink from. You need to have plenty of warm beverages, hot cocoa, hot tea, coffee. All of those bring a feeling of coziness. Soft lighting, plenty of good books, a drawer of warm socks, like I said, bringing nature inside, but more than just flowers, think plants everywhere or even garland made of natural leaves. Lots of textures, comforting music, classic movies. All of these things can bring a sense of huga to every single moment of your day-to-day -day life. You're a born survivor And you'll never find yourself in love You're wise enough I got troubles, I got sins I'm my worst enemy But I still got a lot to give So I said, hey, don't you wanna come? Come and run away with me Hey, won't you come? Won't you come? Say by chance, don't you want a man? A man who fully understands A sailor's heart, a sailor's heart So I said, hey, don't you want to come? Come and run away with me 
I keep what I call my huga basket next to my favorite chair. I just have some of my favorite books in there, devotionals, my Bible, a pad of paper and a pen in case I want to write anything down. A huga basket is a must for anyone trying to put a little huga in their life. Then at the end of the day, I'll put on my favorite pair of comfy pajamas, get hot tea and a snack, curl up with a blanket in my favorite chair, pick one of my favorite books from my huga basket, and just huga out. I suggest you do the same. I promise this is a game changer. This is my fourth and final episode in my productivity series, and I think the most important. We have to learn to enjoy the things we're doing to be as productive as possible. If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe below. Thank you so much for joining me today. And don't forget to hygge. Thank you.